everybody knows McDonald's. With more than 30,000 restaurants in 119 countries, the company serves 47 million customers each day. When you bite into a Big Mac, you don't think about the decisions that were made in order to bring that sandwich to your table. Where to buy the beef, how to toast the bun, how to deliver the sandwich fast while still hot and fresh. Operations management decisions go into every product and service you enjoy, whether it's choosing a car, buying gasoline, or visiting Disney World. Operations management requires both knowledge of the facts and how to interpret that information in order to produce and deliver a high quality good or service. It affects all parts of business operations, from the purchase of raw materials to the delivery of final goods and services. It determines billion dollar product and plant decisions and can dramatically alter the value of a company. Operations incorporates suppliers, employees, distributors, and retailers. If one part of the process is bad, every part suffers, which ultimately makes for unhappy customers and low profit margins. In addition, operations management requires constant improvement due to competition in the marketplace and advances in technology. The first step in creating a new operation is the design of the product and the process that will produce it. Good product and process design is customer driven. Operations managers must answer the questions. What type of process is best suited to create a product that will fulfill our customers needs? How can we make the best quality product and still make a profit? Creating products and service starts with purchasing raw materials or components. Suppliers can affect the quality as well as the final cost to the consumer. Managing the supply chain effectively can make the difference between success and failure of a product or service. When choosing suppliers, the goal is to find the best product available for the best price you can. McDonald's has done this worldwide by partnering with local producers whenever possible. But sometimes, the most affordable supplier is across the world. The global marketplace gives companies today greater flexibility to choose the most cost-effective supplier. McDonald's has suppliers across the globe. The Big Mac served in Saudi Arabia has beef from Spain, special sauce and pickles from the U.S., lettuce from Holland, cheese from New Zealand, onion and sesame seeds from Mexico, on a bun made from Saudi wheat, with sugar and oil from Brazil, and packaging from Germany. A company's relationship with its suppliers can affect all stages of the process. For that reason, Honda of North America partners with its suppliers, bringing them into the process early during product design. They also make suppliers accountable for testing and replacing their parts right on the factory floor. Honda's relationship with suppliers is based on trust, and Honda has seen tremendous results by working with suppliers on quality improvement. An efficient manufacturing process delivers quality products in the most cost-effective way possible. Sometimes that means introducing new technology Hillerick and Bradsby, manufacturer of Louisville Slugger baseball bats, recently redesigned their manufacturing process to address problems in order entry, production, and inventory. We found that we were shipping on time and complete 30, 40 percent uh, to our major customers. Uh, they have to have 100 percent on time and complete. That is part of the contract that we have with them. Um, our accounts receivable, AR, was running real long, 365, 400 days. Our production people weren't communicating with their salespeople and management staff the way that they should. Uh, we were having problems of transferring information between all those groups. It would take anywhere from a couple of days to a week to get information answered. 
Hillerick and Bradsby needed a streamlined production system that was triggered by the sale of their product. They implemented Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP, to simplify their processes. New software now stores all information in one common database on one server. This database maintains information on materials, orders and production, and automatically updates at all stages of process, keeping all parts of the company in constant communication with each other. Most importantly, the production process doesn't start until an order is entered into the system, ensuring that production is based solely on demand. Companies that provide a service rather than a product also must find the most efficient processes in order to keep customers happy and profits up. The popularity of Walt Disney World led to long lines or queues for rides and attractions. Disney wanted to increase customer service while also increasing the amount of time visitors spent on rides or in attractions. Among their solutions was the very successful FastPass system. FastPass is what we call a, a virtual queue system. Basically the way it works is a guest walks up to an attraction, they take their ticket media, insert it into a kiosk, and they're issued a ticket that has a timestamp window on it. At that particular time when a guest walks up, if the wait time was 45 minutes, we increment that time window 45 minutes and then give them an hour window to come back to that attraction and basically be able to walk right on. In this way, FastPass has changed the distribution of guests at the park. Instead of spending time in queues for the most popular attractions, guests can use that time to visit restaurants, stores, or less popular attractions. It basically has given guests now more time to, to experience more attractions, so they're able in the same amount of time that they have in a day to be able to experience a significant percentage more attractions. So given that that's the, one of the key reasons that guests come to visit us, it's been very, very successful. How do you know if your process is the most efficient for your product or service? Measuring is an important element of operations management. It is the only way to track improvement or failure in a process. Businesses use statistical analysis to identify and correct potential problems early in the process. Statistical process control is simply uh, monitoring the consistency and the repeatability of a specific process. If we apply statistics and understand the actual capability of the process, we can predict uh, the failure rate uh, within that process and make running adjustments uh, so that we don't have actual problems occur. One example of this is the door closing test at Honda. This test measures the speed required to close a car door without slamming. Results are entered into the computer where it is examined by statistical analysis software. This program measures the results for individual cars as well as tracking the distribution of results over several weeks. Using this information, plant workers can measure the efficiency of the entire process and make adjustments if needed. In manufacturing, uh, you're always trying to find ways to do things better, more efficiently, uh, and uh, the bottom line in trying to improve quality. Uh, we call this continuous improvement. In support of continuous improvement, we do a daily production meeting where we discuss the previous day's activities. The whole purpose behind the production meeting is really to discuss what's hot that day. So to monitor that, we actually record the day's productivity numbers and compare that to the previous day, the previous week, the previous month. The reason we measure ourselves is to see how are we doing and are we progressing towards our goals. Sometimes changes in the market force a company to rethink its product or service design. For example, when the Kimpton Group got into the hotel business, the market was saturated with brand name chain hotels that were stripped down for the business traveler. Kimpton decided to stand out by opening boutique hotels, such as the Hotel Monaco in Chicago. Boutique hotels typically have 75 to 200 rooms are priced in the four-star range and focus on customer service in an intimate luxury setting. 
The hotels are designed to serve both the business traveler and the pleasure traveler by providing a number of specialized services. In addition, the hotel uses specialized software to track their guests' preferences and desires. Capturing those business clients means that we have to exceed their expectations and deliver every time they return to a hotel. That's a very powerful function within the hotel to meet those customers' needs. That determines guest loyalty. Operations management is the key to making any business more successful. ABTCO creates specialty building products such as wood and vinyl siding, shutters and trim, and interior wood and tile board. Several years back, it was a struggling division of a larger company that primarily specialized in paper products. The parent company put it up for sale because it didn't fit well in their core business. Investors bought the business for $100 million. Uh, the former owners were people that had uh, uh, a lot of paper making background, whereas my people had very specific uh, background on engineered wood and they were the best in the industry and we knew well before we bought the company that we could improve the operation. Using fundamentals of operations management the new owners reorganized the manufacturing processes to improve quality and efficiency. They closed down lines that produced unprofitable products and started up idle lines to fill product shortages. As a result their siding unit increased production capacity 23 percent in one year without adding any space or capital expense. The plastics group increased output 30 percent at one plant alone. Increasing efficiency allowed for new product development in a shorter period of time. Instead of one year, the company could now produce a new product within three months. As a result, sales improved. More important, operating income grew more than $33 million in the first year of new ownership. When the investors took the new company public, its value on the NASDAQ was $300 million. Not bad for a company which they had purchased just a year earlier for one-third that price. Good operations management was the key to ABT Co's success and the continued well-being of many other companies. All companies need high-quality products and services, delivered in a timely manner, at a competitive and profitable price to customers who appreciate their value. In fact, the need for strong operations management never ends. Without it, a business can't know how well it's doing and can't improve. In a competitive market, a business that doesn't improve doesn't last long.